Out here, there's no diplomacy, no governments, just the sectors they pay us to fight for. They won't call it a war, but our people and theirs die just the same. This is home, a standard base of operations. The corporations built it, like everything out here. The forward stations, the mines, even the ships we fly. Even the ships we fly. Take control of the system. Secure the mines first, then the sectors, and eliminate anyone who gets in the way. And this, this is your ship. The USR Pioneer. It's more than 1,200 meters long and has a crew of over 5,000. She packs a heavy punch. Look after her, and she'll look after you. Good luck, Captain. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. This is Canadian Titan, and today we're taking a quick look at Fractured Space. This is a free-to-play game that um, I'm just interested in trying. So let's let's give it a go. Try testing your main thrusters. Okay. Looks like your thrusters oh. are working fine. Move around a little. Get a feel for the controls. Again, it kind of has that slow lumbering. Doesn't have as many. Um, little thrusters on the ship as you would expect but all right not bad okay captain it's game time an enemy ship is pushing in on our forward station time to push back where bring up your tactical map and select the jump point i've marked in that sector uh oh this one Ooh, I like the jump effects. Look at this. I teleported. There's our gate crasher. Take it down before it can capture the port station. Open fire. You should not be here. His insurance will cover that. That's cute. Both Alpha and Beta sectors contain three mines. We need to control more mines than they do. The more resources we have, the better we can make your ship. Capture the enemy forward station, and we can rush their base. Capture their base, and, well, it's all over. My backup. Who's my backup? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, don't bump into me. So, what do I have to shoot? Capture them. How do I capture them? Spotted what where? Who have I spotted? Ow. Taking a lot of damage. Sometimes watching an enemy ship burn is a good for you. Good work, my friend. Am I being healed or just shot at? It's hard to tell. I designed the protector to you. Its job is to try and keep you alive, but don't push it. It's not a miracle worker, and that repair beam won't always be there. Resources we have, the better we can put out a detection buoy. To capture a location, you need to be inside its sphere of influence. What's its sphere of influence? We've collected enough resources to upgrade your ship. Get back to base when you can. This is base over here. So you have two jump systems on every ship. Oh. The main jump drive will take you to any open. Look at this. I can jump home. Then there's the jump home. 
which is more of an emergency system. It'll take you direct to home base for repairs, upgrades, or to defend it from any uninvited guests. Okay. Uh, well, I'd like M. You're all upgraded. Get back to it. You can't just say get back to it. Gamma sits idle. However, during the fighting, Gamma will come online. Whoever captures it gets a temporary power boost. Someone bumped me in the butt. When it's online, Gamma can be captured to give our ships more power. To capture a location, you need to be inside its sphere of influence. Capturing Gamma is vital. Try to get there early if you can, so you can get into position. I'm going. Do you not see me going? Keep pressing shift instead of control to go down. Missile systems need a target before they can launch. Acquire a target by aiming at it or using the targeting key. We have secured Gamma 1. Excellent. We captured an enemy force station. Sending pioneer missiles. You're going down, buddy. Hold the jump key, select a jump point, and release. I'm jumping again. I don't know if I'm winning or what. If they capture our base, we lose. We capture theirs, it's party time. I like party time. Ouch, I'm being shot. You need to be inside its sphere of influence. The ship is slow. Come on, turn. at me. Firing missiles. Got him. Job well done. Drinks all round. Hey, I like that idea. How do we do? Alright. The game's actually freaking out a little bit because I was in a long queue for another game, um, Fortnite. And... It finally loaded, but we're playing this one, so we're just going to get out of Fortnite for now. It's it's sad because it's such a busy weekend, there's like a, a 20 plus minute queue, so I was like, oh, I'll play another game for now, and then, I don't know, I got lucky enough that the queue was over, and oh well. Click here to play another game. The fastest way to... Interesting, interesting, interesting. Conquest, jump around, capture mines, gamma time, move up, and winning. Oh, am I actually going to play against other people now? Conquest mode. Oh, no. Oh, oh, scary. Okay, so, this is the draft. This is how we put your fleet together. Well, how do I decide what I want? Four captains, two on each side, pick their ships in phase one. Then, those ships are revealed in Phase 2 for the next set of captains, so they can make informed decisions about what to pick. Then, the final captain on each side picks. This choice is important, because it's the last chance to round out the fleet composition. This is drafting Phase 1. Now you can select your ship from the available options. Well, I did. In addition to the ships you own, you can select any ship in the free rotation. These ships change, however, so if you find one you get attached to, you might want to think about buying it. The ship can be chosen once per team. You can choose a ship if someone else on your team has already selected it. This is drafting phase two. Once your ship has been selected, you can customize it. 
Okay. More ways to customize your ship will become available as you gain experience. Ah. I'm assuming you'll be able to change your loadout and your crew to adapt to the enemy team. That's interesting. Those tips at the bottom, they are there to help you understand which ships your fleet needs. The hints are suggestions only. Traditional fleet compositions can be safe, but predictable. A fresh approach could mix things up or crash and burn. This is drafting phase three. We're all set. Oh boy. Oh, this is happening. I'm playing against... I'm playing with and against other people. I don't recommend this as a... Like, the intro was so short, I feel like I should have some, like, player versus... Like, PvE or, like... Okay, I'm I'm in a spaceship, and I have little fighters. That's kind of neat, and I can warp places. Ooh. Push up to that central line. I know that they'll be there, coming for you. Okay. What was that? Sector Captain. Alpha or Beta, wherever you can make the most waves. I'm jumping to Beta. Ooh, hello. Disable? What's going on? I have no idea. Ow! I have no idea what my ship is doing in terms of abilities right now. I'm on fire. Oops. Am I winning? Am I losing? I don't know. I'm playing. Ooh. I killed him. Did.
I like resources. jump home and I'm gonna get some more utility I think no repair all right and I'm gonna get into this battle okay target someone and fire. Like I'm alone. Has my whole team left me? That's another enemy transport destroyed. Fighters do much? Oh yeah, they do. They can. I mean, not as much as this capital ship, of course. Ooh, hello. Gotta get home, gotta get home, gotta get home. in the battle. This is kind of neat, actually. There's an enemy ship out here. Come on, where are you?
ship goes down like that man that is that feels really weird fly through his wreckage oh my goodness turn 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 I gotta jump back here somehow no I can't okay jump restrictions lifted how do we take this again do we just get in the circle here Really, really? So I can't do anything here? Alright. All ships, pull back if you can. Gamma goes active in less than 60 seconds. We are capturing the enemy base. Let's see what we can do here. I don't really look like I have a lot of fighters left. Enemy beta station captured. We can now access their base from Beta and Gamma. Keep an eye on the clock, Captain. Gamma goes active in less than 30 seconds. They've secured right. their base. We've lost jump access. Gamma in less than 20 seconds. That's another enemy transport destroyed. to Gamma. Gamma 2 secured.
am I doing? Nine zero. Okay. Toast. I guess I can come hold the point. We now control an enemy forward station. Jump to beta or gamma to reach their base. Jumping to enemy base. Tell how I'm doing. I gotta get out of here. Select your upgrade, Captain. Whatever's gonna work for you. Locked out of their base again. See what I can do. Their base is secure. Party's over. Good push. Go, go. Enemy Alpha Station captured. We can now reach their base from Alpha and Gamma. down their engines. These can't be other humans. They're all dying way too easy. Right? No, what I need to do is help my team out. Still get in there? Can I still get in there? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm facing the wrong way. Woo!
That actually felt really good. The, the game is actually really nice. The graphics look pretty good. The controls feel pretty good. Other than the control shift thing for going down. I had some issues with that, but I get why they need that button for the jump thing, and I think that makes a lot of sense. The upgrade system worked okay, but I didn't necessarily know that I needed to go get the upgrades, which is kind of weird. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with how that went. I, I swear, though, that had to be NPCs, because our team just, like, was wrecking them. Like, look at this. 13 kills. I've been promoted! Quick play, firing range, quick missions. Nice. Nice. If you log in every day, they give you rewards. That's smart. They try to push you to use your friends list to get more people to play. Yeah, ship guides. This this interface is a bit cluttered and a bit kind of old school. Doesn't feel as slick as some of the um, the others. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this. Uh, if you're looking for a giant spaceship battle game. I would definitely recommend trying out Fractured Space. It seems like a lot of fun. But that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and please remember, gaming should be fun, so keep having fun. Have a great day.